Bitzer 4 VES740 P compressor disassembly. We'll show you how to properly disassemble the 4 VES740 P compressor. Begin by depressurizing the compressor. To do so, you will need to extract the refrigerant via the Schrader valve. Before disassembly, you also need to drain the oil. The screws on the cover of the compressor terminal box are then loosened using a screwdriver. The cover is taken off and the protective conductor on the cover unscrewed. The motor protection device can then be removed and the terminal box taken off. An impact wrench is used for disassembly. The two screws on the discharge shutoff valve are loosened and the valve removed. The suction shutoff valve is also unscrewed and the suction gas filter in the middle of the housing cover removed. To start with, two screws at the top of the housing cover are removed. Two M10 parallel pins are mounted on opposite sides to ensure proper removal and prevent the cover from falling off. At that point, all other screws can be loosened. The housing cover is loosened by carefully hitting it on the side with a rubber mallet and the cover pulled off over the parallel pins. Below it is the rotor which is removed next. Now loosen the hexagon head screw of the rotor with the impact wrench and take off the balance weight. Pull the rotor out of the compressor housing using pliers. Then pull the spacer sleeve off the eccentric shaft and remove it. Mark the cylinders and valve plates using a water-soluble pen to avoid mixing them up when mounting them later on. The screws of the cylinder heads opposite each other are loosened using the impact wrench. The cylinder heads and valve plates can then be taken off. The rubber mallet is hit lightly against the cylinder head and valve plate in order to loosen them. All the screws are removed using the impact wrench in order to take off the bearing cover. The bearing cover is hit lightly with the rubber mallet to reduce the pressure of the eccentric shaft on the bearing cover. Take off the bearing cover and set it aside along with the bearing ring. The screws on the oil centrifuge are loosened. Carefully remove the oil centrifuge and balance weight. Now it's time to remove the eccentric shaft. Carefully shift the connecting rods and pull the eccentric shaft out of the connecting rods with light turning movements. In order to remove the cylinders, the pistons are first taken out of the cylinders one after the other. Pull from the inside and press from the outside. Clean any oil residue from the pistons and carefully place them on a soft surface. To check a piston, the Ziga rings are pulled off on both sides and the wrist pins removed. Loosen the screws on the terminal plate using the impact wrench. The terminal plate can then be lifted. Pull off the cable lugs for the PTC sensor and then remove the six screws. In the final step, the terminal plate can now be removed. We'll show you how the stator is removed from the housing at the internal Bitzer service facility. We screw the first part of our special tool and the stator together. Then we place the second device on the thread. And the stator is pulled out slowly using hydraulics. In the final step, the stator is removed. High quality Bitzer components guarantee professional disassembly of our compressors. If you have any further questions, please contact our service department.